This is Brian Dean. And if you don't know Brian Dean, he's an extremely good SEO. He created Backlinko, which was then sold to SEMrush, right? The SEMrush, right? We have Ahrefs, you have SEMrush. He sold his company, Backlinko.com, to SEMrush for an undisclosed amount. I wouldn't be surprised if it was mid to high seven figures. That's just speculation. But here's the point. Brian Dean does SEO. He does search engine optimization different than everybody else, different than anything I have seen. In this video, I'll quickly show you what he believes in, how he's been very successful in SEO. He does content totally different than what you're accustomed to. If you haven't seen Brian, I'm telling you this is different than what you've seen. And then we are going to use free tools. We're going to use ChatGPT and other resources you probably have not heard of to see if we can take a process that Brian and his team admittedly takes 20 plus hours on a blog post. I'm telling you, they do things different. Now starting out, let's go to a blog post by Brian Dean, how to rank higher on Google in 2023. We need to learn how he does what he does. You're going to see screenshots off the bat and I'm scrolling. We have a section here we can jump. We can jump to different portions of the article, but look at this. Watch me just scroll down through this whole blog. I'm not even a quarter way through right now. All right, I'm still going and I'm still going. Now you know why it takes 20 plus hours. I'm not even done yet. This is incredible, but it's more than meets the eye. Listen to me. There's more than meets the eye here. Yes, it's a long blog post, but what are the details? Why is he building it this way? As SEOs, we have two parties to consider, Google and the consumer. But I'm telling you, Brian Dean, he uses a different type of thinking. I'm telling you, this guy's built different. Brian Dean flips it on its head. I'm going to show you his new project, and then all of this is going to become clear. Check it out. This is Exploding Topics, right? This is Brian Dean's new venture after Backlinko. He sold Backlinko. He's working on this project. What the heck? is this website? What are all these charts? It's a SaaS program. We help companies find exploding trends before they take off, working with humongous companies. But under the hood, there's something completely different, and that's where the gold is. Let's jump into that. So on the surface, this is a SaaS program, but as we dive deeper, we see a blog, the Exploding Topics blog. Let me ask you a question. Let me just sit here for a second. Do you know why they are writing these ones in particular? This has everything to do with how Brian Dean is successful. Eight key brand metrics to track in 2023. Why? And yet again, a humongous article, but that's not the point. Humongous articles can just be humongous and not rank. Why do they do these particular blog articles? Let's look at another one. Top 10 best AI video generators, 70 plus employee on board and statistics. They seem all over the place, but what is the glue that holds them all together? Now let's look at editors picks. Look at each and every one of these articles. 78 growing fintech companies and startups. Think about it. He's not writing for google.com. He's not writing for the consumer. Take a step back. Who is he writing for? He's writing for journalists. That means that he is providing data. He's providing data. It makes so much sense when you think about it so that people will backlink to explodentopics.com. This is exactly what he did with Backlinko. Look at this. Look at this. How awesome are these? Do you think if you are a journalist, you feel comfortable, you know, going here and giving them a backlink? Of course. So this is how Brian Dean is able to take a website from start. He spends a lot of money, albeit, and we're going to see if we can do it with a free method in a second, but he gets tons of backlinks. So now that we know what Brian Dean does, now it's time for us to have some fun. So Google's data set search, right? This is a free tool to use. Hello, I love free tools. All right, type in anything. Think about your niche. Let's just say health. So health ranking of countries worldwide in 2023 by health index score. Cool. Click on here. Statista has this thing right here. It's raw data, right? You're going to see different things here to the left. You're going to see Statista. You're going to see Kaggle. You're going to see Kaggle. These different things. Some of them require a subscription, but oftentimes it's free data. Now, Statista is a paid one. So what we need to do is come to commercial use allowed. Yes, commercial use allowed. Let's click on this one right here. Kaggle. Kaggle is good. I believe this one's free. The data from the World Happiness Report 2023. Let's see if we can get this zip file, right? You see this zip file right here? If we can get raw data, then we can play with fire. And realize this works for any niche. So we're going to create great content that journalists want to backlink to. So continuing on pretty simple, explore at Kaggle. So let's get this file. You can sign in with your Google account over here. But look, about this data set, right? The World Happiness Report is a landmark survey on the state of global happiness. I mean, this is perfect 
for like uh, bait for journalists. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna click this download button and here it is in raw format, right? Data scientists crawl through this stuff, but lucky for us, we have a tool that we can use. ChatGPT has code interpreter, why not use it? And before we go on, if you like this content, please subscribe and share this one with a friend. Now starting out with ChatGPT code interpreter, we uploaded the unzipped file here and I said, this file is, and look, I just copy and pasted all that stuff from Kaggle, just the description. And then I said at the bottom, do you understand? So let's see how this thing does with it. Let's press enter. And so, yes, I understand the context provided about the world happiness report in the content related. Great. It seems like you have uploaded a file related to it. All right, great. How can we assist you? Now, this is where we need to get into the journalist's head. So this tool is called Rocks Hill Media. Get more from your PR and media intelligence software. I have access to this tool. My SEO agency, we use this. It's very, very expensive, but what it can do is very powerful. So let me show you the data set, how Rocks Hill would be perfect for it. So look here, do you see all the country names? What you could do with this tool is say, I wonder if anyone is interested or has written about, say, Nepal recently. And if so, we could create a piece of content just for that journalist or journalists, right? Depending upon what they're interested in. But for the sake of this video, let's say we have something on Iceland, um, something cool about Iceland, the happiness factor compared to the rest of the world. And by creating this piece of content, we're gonna attract journalists from around the world that want to write maybe a travel blog on Iceland. And then if you have an awesome piece of content, content. There's a way to do outreach. We can do that too. So let's give this a go. I'm writing a blog on Iceland and need to know how their key metrics, their metrics in this data set compare to other popular EU countries. Let's give ChatGPT, you know, a lot of grace here. Let's just start with general questions. All right. If you have any specific EU countries in mind, um, blah, blah, blah. All right, here it goes. Let's see what it can do. So it said the data includes various metrics. Great. So it's reading this thing really well, which is so crazy, right? Because this this here, all these numbers, that's hard to read for a human. We can see Iceland's information in the table and we can compare it with other popular EU countries, uh, including Germany, France, UK, Italy, Spain, Netherlands. Would you like me to proceed? Yes, proceed. So here it goes. It says, here's how Iceland's metrics compare to those of the popular EU. Look at this. It's pulling data. Love it. Iceland is among the top countries with a value of 10.86. So we're going to ask it more. We're going to dive deeper. Social support. It leads with the highest social support value. That's awesome. Man, oh man, this is so good. This data is so good. Overall, Iceland ranks high in terms of happiness, social support. Would you like any specific visualizations? Yes. Provide visualizations. I can say that word. If you want to have your mind blown, let's just keep going with this. Let's create plots for the following. <laughs> and look at what ChatGPT did for us. Oh my gosh. Happiness score comparison. This is not too unlike what Brian Dean does in his stuff. He takes raw data. I've watched interviews of Brian. They take raw data that's hard to come by because you have to go into these data sets. Now we have tools to do it. And if we can provide, you know, visualizations for journalists, my goodness, look at this health life expectancy comparison. So, you know, those are kind of close together, but freedom to make life choices comparison. Iceland is up there. Look at this generosity comparison. Iceland, we got the UK at the top. Wow. Uh, perceptions of corruption comparison. All of these are extremely valuable. Now we have to ask ourselves, we have the data. This has worked out better than I expected, right? I'm excited to use this for my clients. Now we need to craft a blog article around this data. So lucky for us, exploding topics, right? Brian Dean's website is public. We can just use it as inspiration. So he starts with the H2 chipper cash, a nice graph. We can emulate this with, say, the generosity comparison of Iceland. We can build this into our article. He has bullet points, boom. And then he has a nice, you know, um, recap of what's going on here with uh, external links. This goes directly to chipper cash. This formula is not hard now that we have the data. That when you supply data to Google, it knows that no one else has talked about that data in this manner before. So I'm going to cut the video there. I hope this provided tons of value. If I earned your subscription, please click that subscribe button. Subscribe button. I can say that word subscribe button and uh, like, comment, um, share it to a friend, right? This can change someone's game in SEO. This is what the top dogs do. This is how Brian Dean was able to create a multi-million dollar company. I'm assuming so. I mean, if SEMrush is going to buy your company, right, back Winko, it's going to be for a lot of money. Nonetheless, I appreciate you, and I'll catch you on the next one.